Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, I'm going to talk about compositing window managers. The compositor is software that provides a link between the kernel, video driver, and an application with a graphical interface. A compositor directs the hardware by providing it with data to display on the screen. There are two compositing window managers that I know of, X11 and Wayland. X11 began in the year 1984 as X10, and in 1987 it evolved to X11. It was designed for universities to serve display terminals, allowing people to share a graphical frame buffer. Over the years of development, it has become a very complicated compositor. Wayland began development September 2008. Considering that X has become such a complicated compositor, people have decided to develop a new, modern, less complicated system. The current stable release is 1.14. At this stage, X11 is the most ubiquitous compositor, while Wayland is still gradually being adopted. Personally, I have no experience with Wayland, so I'm only going to share what I know about X11. A number of years ago, in the not too distant past, I'm like, I even still remember it, that the Xorg server was pretty difficult to uh, configure, and it was quite a challenge for a number of people. These days, uh, the Xorg server is pretty much, um, it, it doesn't require much at all. The only time anybody will need to go in and edit the xorg.comp file is if they have some kind of special strange configuration that would require it. For instance, like a, a multi-seat configuration, which is something I'd like to do someday. So the xorg server keeps track of the displays and input devices, and also in some cases audio. And the xorg server can launch the window manager, or it can launch a desktop environment, or it can launch a single application. So for some examples here, I'm going to show you logging into the virtual console and then instantiating the window manager and then follow up with starting just the desktop environment and then a single application. All right, we logged into the virtual console. Now I'm going to start the desktop manager. The particular manager that I'm using on this machine that I like is LXDM. LXDM. Oh, I think I need to sudo that. Sudo LXDM. A super secret passphrase. All right, now you see that the window manager has started, and you can see that there are two accounts that I can log into. I'm gonna log in as a sergeant. There we go. And I really like the lightweight X11 desktop environment. This is my preferred desktop because it uh, has a minimal overhead and it's quick, and I'm familiar with it. All right, so let me log out of this. So now that I've shown starting the window manager, now I'm going to just start a single instance of the desktop environment. And to do that, I need to make sure that the .xinitrc file is properly configured. So I'll do um, no.xinitrc. And there's a whole bunch of settings in here. And what I wanted to do is, oh yeah, there it is, exec start lxde. So I'll do um, start x. And now this creates just a single instance of the desktop environment with no window manager keeping track of it. And if I log out of this, I won't get the option to log back in. It'll just send me back to the virtual console. Well, and it kills the X server. Now, another example that I would like to show is starting a single application. Again, I'll go back to the in that uh, XRC file. I just have these settings in here already. I'll just comment out the start LXDE and uncomment the console. Now when I do start X, it should start a uh, instance of the, uh, the console, just one single application. There it is. So there's just one single application full screen. Pretty cool. In this segment, I talked about compositing managers, X11 and Wayland, their connection to each other and the system as a whole. And I also provided a little example on how to utilize the X11 server.